Hello friends, welcome back to Megatron Solution and my name is Rushil Sir. Let's continue series on automation system. In previous video, we talked about what is an automation system, how automation system works. In this tutorial, we will talk about component which are used in automation system. So without wasting time, we will start with basic block diagram of automation system. In this block diagram, first block take input from the field devices by variety of sensor. This input signals are going into the controller and controller has logic, configuration of timer and counter etc. In terms of ladder, FBD or other language which is understand by controller or programmable logic controller. Also some basic setting stored in the controller memory. Then the controller will change the state of output devices as per the logic. After this much of information, we can conclude that automation system has first input devices like switches, sensor, analog sensors and pulse rate input. Then, Automation controller like PID controller, dedicated process controller and the programmable logic controller. And the last and third, output devices like motor, light, contactor, solenoid valves and the servo valves. The input and output for the automation system may be they are digital and or analog. Digital means it has only two states like high or low and 0 or 1 and we can say in other words true or false. For the example, if we are working on 24 volt system, we have digital sensor like limit switch, proximity switch, pressure switch or flow switch. So the sensor output will have only two states. If sensor is sensed and its normally open contact will give 24 volt with respect to the ground. It means the sensor output is high, true or we can say 1 or while sensor is not sensed, that time 0 volt DC observed between normally open contact of the sensor with respect to the ground. It means the sensor output is low, false or we can say 0. So this type of sensor has only two state of the output that they are known as digital sensor. High means it will give you full voltage and low means zero volt. The same thing true for the digital output. We can only turn on and off the output devices while it is digital. If you have a good knowledge about input devices, automation controller or PLC and output devices, then you can easily design an automation system without any hesitation. Here I conclude this video. In this video, we discuss about input and output block diagram, then digital input output with their operating two stage for automation system. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press bell icon to get first update. Thank you. Namaste.